Welcome back everybody. This video is about Morro Mountain in North Carolina, which is an ancient volcano that erupted over 300 million years ago. So where is it located? It's located in central North Carolina, about 40 miles east, northeast of Charlotte, North Carolina, and only a few minutes east of Albemarle, North Carolina. Morro Mountain rises to about 936 feet above sea level or about 285 meters. A short drive takes you to the summit of Morro Mountain where you have spectacular views of the surrounding countryside. Did you know that Morro Mountain in central North Carolina was a site of an ancient volcano that erupted over 300 million years ago? Yes, this nice and quaint and quiet little hilltop had a fiery past. And this is evident with volcanic rocks such as rhyolite and basalt littering the entire mountain. Now here's what a piece of basalt looks like. It is an igneous rock that is formed during volcanic eruptions. They can also be found in the western half of the park as large boulders can be seen along the road going to the top of Moore Mountain. It's not as hard as rhyolite, however, it is still resistant to erosion. Rhyolite, on the other hand, is much more harder and has like somewhat of a luster to it and is formed by thick magma that cooled and hardened. Once buried as a result of the movements of the Earth's crust, it was exposed by erosion over hundreds of millions of years. So how do we get here today? Basically, these were early volcanic islands that were crushed as the Earth's major continents collided. They formed a supercontinent, Pangaea, nearly 300 million years ago. As it separated, what were once island volcanoes remained attached to North America, and movements and collisions of the Earth's crust buried the volcanic rock underneath softer rock. Now, over 300 million years ago, the Uauri Mountains stood at least 20,000 feet above sea level. And over time, erosion by wind and water has slowly chipped away at the softer rocks. But the erosion resistant volcanic rocks remain today and they form the Uari Mountains. Now, if you want to get close to a volcano and not get burnt by lava, Moro Mountain would be the perfect place for you to visit and for the family as well. At the very top of the mountain, there's a lookout and it's especially beautiful during the fall. For thousands of years, Native Americans inhabited the Moore Mountain area, and it was also a quarry for rhyolite, in which the ancient Native Americans made tools, utensils, as well as weapons. While you're there at the park, you may want to check out the museum. It goes over the geological history of Moore Mountain and its volcanic past. Also, did you know and Morro Mountain also has gold in them Dar Hills. Yes, there's gold in there. Also, archeological evidence of inhabitation over the course of thousands of years. As you can see right here, many arrowheads and weapons have been found. And let's not forget the abundant wildlife that can be found in the park. And that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of Morro Mountain State Park.